All right. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Sorry I'm not with you guys today. Uh, but here's what we got going on today. Today is an acronym uh, that you won't forget. We are going to FOIL. Uh, today, what exactly is FOIL? Well, here's our little acronym <clears throat> for FOIL. It stands for First, Outer, Inner, Last. Um, and basically, it's a it's a fancy way for us to remember to distribute correctly. Um, because if you look at what we've got now, we have two binomials. So if we if we look here at number one, um, I've got two binomials, x plus two and x plus four, and I need to multiply these two together. Basically, um, distribute. If we if we are going to be technical, we're going to distribute this x into both terms. And then I'm also going to distribute the 2 into both terms. Uh, and we have a fancy acronym, FOIL, right, which just stands for, I'm sure you saw it, first, outer, inner, last. Or some people say first, outside, inside, last. And so here's, here's what all that means. So we take our first terms um, and we multiply those together. So we're going to have, so here, I'll write FOIL. All right, so it looks like this. So my first terms are, are x and x, and I know that gives me x squared. Uh, my outside terms are x and 4. All right, so that gives me, so x times 4 is equal to 4x. There you go. Now we're going to do inside terms, right? So inside, inside, 2 and x. So 2 times x is 2x. Uh, and my last terms, 2 times 4, just 8. Now, you know, we had a nice example here. Everything's positive. So, in other words, um, all of these terms are going to be added together. And this is not my final answer, believe it or not, because, as you guessed it, we can simplify these terms here. So, when we FOIL uh, these two binomials, x plus 2 uh, and x plus 4, it turns into... <clears throat> x squared, uh, there we go, plus 6x plus 8. All right. Uh, so, you know, not uh, crazy multiplication. The, the, the trick to this, uh, kids, is, is watching your signs, right? Like x plus 5, everything's positive. x minus 2, be careful. Now, every time I multiply with this 2, it's really a negative 2. So that's going to change some signs around for us, which is going to make life difficult. All right, but here we go. Uh, my first terms, x and x, give me x squared. Uh, my outside terms, now I've got x with the 2, so this is negative 2x. All right, inside terms, here we go, 5 and x plus 5x. And our last terms, 5 and negative 2, again, minus 10. Uh, we can, you'll find that we will almost always simplify these two terms here. Uh, the first terms and the last terms typically will stay exactly the same. Here we've got negative 2 plus 5, that gives me a plus 3x. Bam, there we go. All right, now we've got the quantities w minus 2 and w minus 3. Again, first terms, w and w gives me a whopping w squared. Uh, outsides, w and negative 3 give me minus 3w. My inside terms here with negative 2 and w give me a minus 2w. And then here we go. Be careful. Last terms, negative 2 times negative 3 gives me a positive 6. All right, again, middle terms can be combined. W squared minus 5W plus 6. All good. We're just cruising through these. <clears throat> All right, number 10. Um, we're getting into uh, coefficients other than uh, 1 now, so this is good. I've got x plus 3 on the right hand for the, for the second binomial. First one, 4x minus 7. So, 
treat everything just the same. So first terms, 4x and x. So that's going to give me 4x squared. Outside terms, so now we've got 4x with 3, and it's a positive 3. That gives me plus 12x. Inside terms, negative 7 with x is negative 7x. And our last term, um, negative 21. All right, combine our middle terms here. We've got positive 12 with negative 7. Positive 12 with negative 7 leaves me with a plus 5x minus 21. Here we go. All right, moving onward. 3y plus 1 and 3y plus 2 are our two binomials here. So again, let's distribute or let's multiply 3y into 3y. So this gives me 9y squared. Outside term 3y uh, times positive 2 is just plus 6y. My inside term gives me plus 3y. My last term gives me plus 2. All right, let's combine 9y squared plus 9y plus 2. And as we're doing these, guys, you will help yourself if you begin to look uh, for patterns and look at random things that happen, you know, when we multiply these two binomials together. Because the next half of this unit is we're going to take stuff like 9y squared plus 9y plus 2, and we're going to turn it back into what it, what it was originally, 3y plus 1 and 3y plus 2. It sounds easy. It will be the most frustrating uh, thing for some of you guys to do. So if, if we can make sense of some, sometimes there's patterns and, and clues and stuff that we can use. Um, like on number 19, all right, we'll see some patterns there. But uh, anyway, let's let's move on. Let's keep foiling here. This is good. This is good fun. Uh, 8h and 3h are my uh, first terms here. So that should turn into 24h uh, to the second power. Uh, outside terms, 8h and negative 1, so there's minus 8h. Inside terms give me a minus 9h. My last terms give me a plus 3. Combine your middle terms, so we've got 24h squared minus 17h plus 3. There we go. Um, here's one that will be uh, a nice pattern for us, or something interesting happens and, and whatnot. So, uh, first terms. Again, look at our two binomials. Everything's the same except for, except for these signs. I've got plus 1 and minus 1. Right, and this works with any uh, of our numbers. But first terms give me 9x squared, nothing exciting there. Uh, my outside terms, 3x and negative 1, give me a minus 3x. Inside terms give me a positive 3x, and my last terms give me a minus 1. Simplify. Right, here's, here's what always will happen uh... with these my inside terms my two middle terms cancel out negative three x plus three x was zero All right gone there you go okay so we end up with nine x squared minus one interesting so we had a we had two binomials and all of our other answers you know we've gotten three answers or three terms i should say let's be technical we ended up with a trinomial Right, this one it looked exactly the same like all the other ones, but we only end up with two terms left. We end up with this binomial left. So, uh, interesting. Uh, take a look at twenty-two. What do we do here? Um, when you see this problem, here's what you need to do, right? Because this just says x plus four. It's that quantity, and we're squaring it, right? Or, or in, in essence, we are multiplying it again by x plus 4. And if you if you literally write that out and then foil it and just forget, right, that this exponent is even here, you'll be just fine. Right? And you'll never make a mistake on these cuz you'll say, "Hey, foil it." Okay, x times x gives me x squared. Uh, my outside terms give me 4x. Interestingly enough, my inside terms also give me 4x. And my last terms give me 16. Again, we can simplify this down. x squared plus 8x plus 16. And we're good. 
Okay, and that's the right answer. Now, here's what I don't want you to do. Let's let's just slide over here because I know we've got one over here. 23. Um, here's what most most not most. Here's our most frequent mistake made on these. When we've got 2m minus 5 squared, we'll say, "Yep, this turns into 4m squared." Uh, minus 25. Look, there it is. I squared everything. I took 2, I squared it, I made it 4, I took m, squared it, um, and then I took 5 and squared it, and everything's great. You know, and, and maybe you're sneaky, you think, oh yeah, negatives, maybe I'll make this a plus 25. Alright? Um, here's why that's not right. Again, do, do what I said earlier, 2m minus 5. Right? Forget that this exists. All right. Again, this answer right here, not the right answer. Let's see how the right answer looks similar to this, but is different. Um, 2m times 2m. Again, 4m squared. You're thinking, hey, I'm good. Uh, outside terms, though. The, these are the terms uh, that we will miss if we just square the first, the 2m and the 5, right? The first term and the last term. Right, so that's that's why you have to be careful, because you miss out on these terms right here. So while uh, you get two of the the three terms right, you don't get the middle term. You forget all about that, and that's not fair to the middle term. It's minus twenty m. It didn't do anything to you, okay? All right. Um, at this time, if you guys want to pause the video, I right, give some of these a shot. I think you should be able. Um, to do all of these. If you look uh, down on 21, 24, I've thrown a couple, uh, even on some of the earlier ones, actually 215, I see it there. Uh, we see two different variables. 11, I see that as well. All right, don't do anything different, right? I know how to take 4x times 7x, and um, you know, if, if you guys run into something that looks like this, if you, if you have something that says, hey, uh, 3x times 2y, right? What does that turn into? That turns into 6xy, right? Keep uh, your variables in alphabetical order, all right? If you had something uh, like 3a times b, again, that just turns into 3ab, okay? So, guys, go ahead, pause, pause this. Um, go through... All right, go through two, uh, through the rest of them there. Again, if you if you if you're not sure if you need to to work on um, some of these a little bit more, do that. When you unpause this, I will magically magically have all of our answers uh, filled in here for us. All right, so pause this, give them a shot. Um, I'll work everything out so in case you you've got the wrong sign or whatnot, you see where you went wrong. Um, I won't just throw the answer up there for you. So, but give this um, a pause. Get this down again. Look for patterns as you go through this. All right, we might have a few along the way. Number eighteen, number twenty-one. Okay. Um, all right. So go ahead and pause. Okay. Welcome back. Um, here are all of our answers. So, uh, pretty exciting stuff there. But pause this. Uh, take a look through. And yes, you'll notice sometimes when I foil these guys, I uh, I do the I first instead of the the uh, O first. So don't uh, you know if you see hey plus on like number three, I did plus six K plus three K. So at the end of the day, we're still combining them. Uh, it's all the same. So don't be confused. Don't think I don't know my inside terms from my outside terms. That's just the way my brain works sometimes uh, when I foil these. So anyway, there's all your answers. Check those out. If you got one wrong, um, look at it. Look at your terms. Look at your signs in particular. Okay. Uh, for tonight, um, mm, we got some good, good stuff going on here. So let's. Uh, ooh, I totally forgot this was over here. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at one through seven. The geometric application, uh, I'm a big fan of as well. Uh, but let's look at some of these here. Uh, it says, find each project using the FOIL method, simplify your answer. And you have to remember, FOILing is just distributing. 
So if I look at number one, all I really need to do, guys, is take the first term x and multiply it into all three terms. Right? Again, pay attention to your signs. It should look like this. Uh, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x. Now, take your second term, plus 4. Multiply into that all, all three terms as well. This turns into plus 4x squared plus 12x and minus 24. Now, write this in standard form. Highest exponent gets to go first. That is x to the third power. Uh, I've got a couple uh, second power terms. Those will simplify into 7x squared. Uh, I've got a couple of these terms here with just 1x, so those will be 6x, and nobody combines with 24. So there we go. So again, just, um, just mo more multiplying, not any harder, uh, just a little bit longer. Again, take k, multiply it into all your terms, k cubed minus k squared minus 8k. Now take negative 5, negative 5k squared uh, plus 5k plus 40. Again, write your answer. Standard form, highest exponent gets to go first, minus 6k squared. Uh, minus 3k and plus 40. All right, nothing crazy here. Uh, x, here we go. x cubed plus 2x squared plus, you can write x or you can write 1x. I'm fine with either of those. Uh, then I've got 1x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right, let's combine our like terms. Uh, 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. All right. And last one here. 15x cubed plus 6x squared minus 18x. Then we've got plus 5x squared plus 2x and minus 6. So we'll write this one. Here we go. Uh, plus 11x squared minus 16x minus 6. Okay, welcome back. Here's all your answers uh, for everything there. Um, and again, don't forget your homework uh, on the page next door here. Again, homework uh, that you guys need to do. Again, all of these problems here. And these ones here, right? You can skip all of those, okay? So, sorry I wasn't there today, guys. Hope you had a great day. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.
Okay, welcome back. Here's all your answers uh, for everything there. Um, and again, don't forget your homework uh, on the page next door here. Again, homework uh, that you guys need to do. Again, all of these problems here. And these ones here, right? You can skip all of those. Okay? So, sorry I wasn't there today, guys. Hope you had a great day. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.